Good morning, it is Saturday and I'm getting ready to head out to the grocery store because it has been almost two weeks, <laughs> over two weeks, and we need to pick up some just the fresh veggies and things like that that we're running out of. In fact, I said to Art last night, I said, what's the scoop? Do you want to come with me? Do you want to stay here? How do you want to work it? Do you want to go shopping for me? And he goes, that would not be very successful. <laughs> Art does not enjoy grocery shopping and it just would not be a good thing. So he said, Grace is, um, Grace has had a little bit of a runny nose yesterday and we don't like to spread that to other people. So Art says, just go ahead. He's going to work down in the basement. I'm going to get our necessities and then run right back. No, daddy doesn't want you to go either. Okay, mommy's going to just run by herself. So that's the scoop. I'll probably leave the camera here with him so he can vlog while I'm gone and I'll be back. Yesterday we got all our bulk food supplies, the coconut, the flour, and the oats. I'm going to deal with that now. Uh, yesterday we dealt with the raisins and the figs. We just bagged those up and put them somewhere where they will last longer, either in the refrigerator or freezer. We have these big containers that we keep down in the basement. They work very well for storing the grains. <laughs> and Lillian likes them. What do you think, Lillian? I'm going to keep buckets up here and we rotate through the stuff. So I'm going to probably empty the rest of this into here and then fill this up with one of those. And Lillian's just finding this very interesting. <laughs> you like it? There goes Daddy. And I'm putting this in here and 50 pound bag will fit. I usually try to do it outside because the dust blows around and it just keeps all the mess outside. What did you make, Mary? I made a little surprise for Mommy. And what is it? A pancake. Pancake with a little tiny rock. Well, that's and nice of you to make that for her. A sparkly rock with a pancake. That's nice of you to think of Mommy. A little, it's a little, it's a special surprise in the inside. And does she like it? Art's outside tackling the barn. That's the project he's been trying to finish up for the past couple days. And I'm going to be working on putting dinner in the oven. Um, what? Oh, uh oh, there goes my onion. <laughs> One of the hazards of basement stairs. Let me see if I can grab it. scary stuff down here. Ooh, that one doesn't feel like it's any good. So I'm going to be working on dinner. We're going to do a cranberry pork roast. And I it's actually a cranberry balsamic pork roast. I haven't made it in a couple years. A uh, family from church made it for us. We loved it, loved it. I don't have the recipe. I made one similar. I thought I had it in my recipe book. But that one uses whole berry cranberry sauce. That's not what I'm looking for. So I found another recipe that I think is similar to what I had before. We'll give it a shot. So it uses just butter, onion, garlic, cornstarch, pretty much your standard things right here. And then we have pork tenderloins, uh, balsamic vinegar, some water, sugar, red pepper, salt, rosemary, and whole cranberries. It's almost three o'clock. I'm thinking I have enough time to get this done before dinner. I'm figuring a half hour for prep and distractions from kids and then um, an hour, hour and a half to cook it because I'm going to do a big pork loin so it's big enough for today and for tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up until the garlic is fragrant and then we'll put that off to the side and then we'll start the next part of the recipe. Alright, add some more butter to the pan and then we're going to go ahead and brown the pork loin. Alright, this has been browned on all sides. I'm going to transfer this to my baking dish. This is going to be a mess. Alright, over here. And I'm going to go ahead and deglaze the pan with some balsamic vinegar. Give that a stir so all the good stuff on the bottom of the pan gets to come off. Yum. It smells really, really good. Add some water to this now. I'm gonna add some sugar to this. Just kind of cut that acidity. 
And then to the onions that I cooked earlier, I added three tablespoons of cornstarch. That's just going to act like a thickener to this. So I'm going to put the camera down, add this to the pot. I'll be right back. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt and then a little bit of ground red pepper. I've got about three quarters of a teaspoon of dried crushed rosemary. And then lastly, about two cups of fresh cranberries. Okay, we'll just stir that all up, it says, until the cranberries, the sauce thickens and the cranberries split open. So we cooked this out maybe 10, 15 minutes. You can see the sauce is pretty thick. I'm just gonna pour that right over the uh, pork loin and then we'll bake it. going to cook now until it's done but it looks and smells really good a whole bunch of you had asked me to do a video on how my dad shines my mom's review rare cookware and I just have not gotten a chance to put a full video together on that but I just want to show you a little trick now so it can it can help you now because this is how my well part of the way my dad keeps my mom's pans nice and clean and shiny this pan is the one I was using for the pork roast and you can see it's not totally clean but it has the the brown specks on it and then this burnt stuff and so what my dad likes to use let me see if I can find it whoops are these um I don't know what you call them but scrunchy pads can you see that um I found these at the just the dollar store um I've seen them at Dollar Tree Dollar General um so I usually start with that and then you'll be left with the really, really bad stuck on stuff. Now it's a little hard for me to do this, hold the camera and <laughs> scrub this pan really well. Um, but these scrunchies work really, really well. Um, but then once you get, get it clean, but to the point where there's still stuff on it, but you can't get it off, that's when my dad uses, whether it be Barkeeper's Friend, um, Comet, uh, this I have Ajax, this is just what I had on hand, um, but it's just the powdered cleaner. Um, let me finish cleaning the pan, I'll throw some of this in and you guys can check it out. This is pretty clean, but there, it's not totally clean. Um, there, are, there are some pits on this that I probably won't be able to get that cleaned out, but I'm going to go ahead and shake some Ajax and I'll see if I can balance this pan while I let it go. There we go. Um, just take some of my Ajax put this in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna in circular motion clean this pan this is all scrubbed go ahead and rinse it for you guys and then you can see how clean this has gotten and you know if you miss a couple spots you go back and you do the same thing all over again um, it does take some elbow grease to do this and some muscle but it cleans them up really really nicely as you can see and then you can use that same stuff right on the back side of the pan so there's the back side I will go ahead and sprinkle some of that on again and we'll do the same thing So there it is. You can see it's a whole lot better than it was. Not perfect, but you know, if you want perfection, you've got to put a lot of time into this. And I just don't have that time, but I do like my pants to look somewhat clean. We're going to the library to pick up our stuff for the mini golf. I think we'll just transfer the stuff over to pick up all the stuff. There goes or mommy. There goes daddy. Well He's gonna take we get, down you guys his have your own shop stuff. And I am being multitasked, right holding Lilia. Lillian, say hi. Here we go. Here we are. Here we go. Right back up. What else do you need, artists? You got all the instruments on the shelves? Uh, did you get the tablet? Yeah. And did you get the tablet? I think so. I didn't get the tablet. There we go, back down the stairs. We're going up and down. That was easy. Yes, honey. Yes. 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 Goodbye.
Goodbye, Three Stooges. Here we go. Back in. There goes Charity and Mary. They're loading up. There goes Daddy. Gracious. Interested in the piccolo. You like the piccolo? Yes. There's Lydia. She's carrying the Susie. There they go. We did that in eight minutes. That's pretty good. That was pretty speedy. And now we have to just quickly. Ah! <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to puff your cheeks out like that. Uh, you're supposed to. You, no, you're supposed to. <laughs> Maybe someday. Uh, no. There you're never going to no be yet. a trumpet. How about how about a tuba player? No. You want to be tuba? No. Piano? No. Any musical instrument? I don't know. Oh, they kindly gave the kiddos a cookie. Yeah, a cookie and a pickle. Pickle. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, that makes everybody happy, right? All right, let's go in. The kids are excited because the gates are down for the train, and they're hoping to see a train. Matt, you have a I hear it. Sounds like a long one. It's Amtrak. Oh, good. My roast won't burn then. Northeast Regional. It's all done and it looks fabulous and it smells good, really good too. Here's what's for dinner the pork roast, some grapes, and the salad, and then some mango, or no, guava muffins that Charity made, and some mashed potatoes. Oh, and over here, broccoli. I am getting ready to call it a night, but I wanted to share just a little bit of beauty with you before the night is over. Look at this beautiful flower. This is the plant that we are house sitting for a friend until they get back. But it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And look at the top of it, it still has a whole nother bunch of blooms coming. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's just a little beauty to end your evening. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you will subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up and I will see you for our next video. Good night.